Today we are in the process of finally assembling a turbo generator uh, which has come off Tornado uh, and uh, has needed some overhaul work on it. In particular, its original steam turbine wheel was very badly worn. As you can see here, the edges of the blades have uh, become serrated and that's due to water in the steam actually cutting the stainless steel metal that they're made of. So replacing these turbine wheels used to be straightforward in as much as we contacted the supplier Mining and Locomotive Works in Germany and they had a stock of them. Unfortunately that stock has run out from the old days so we have actually made from scratch a new turbine wheel for this turbo generator. The purpose of the turbo generator is to generate electricity for the engine at 28 volts and this particular one will produce around about 0.9 of a kilowatt when it's going flat out. These turbo generators are a Farbeg German design which was last in production probably in the mid 1970s. So we are very much dependent upon specimens which have been rescued off scrap locomotives uh, for what we are doing here. Originally this area here contained a dynamo, that's a DC generator with a capacity of 500 watts but the uh, but Mining and Locomotive Works in the 1990s uh, developed a modification which is involved fitting a Bosch truck alternator instead of the dynamo inside the casing which put the rating up from 500 watts to 900 watts but has also made maintenance much easier because if we get in a problem with the alternator we simply swap it for another one and we can take this back to our local automotive electrics place and they will provide us with an overhaul replacement for a very reasonable sum of money compared with having to overhaul the DC type generator that was fitted in the first place. What we're actually doing at the moment is reconnecting the electrical cabling to the back of the alternator which goes into this junction box here and the connection to the rest of the locomotive takes place through a gland underneath the bottom of the junction box here. Uh, and we've done a little bit of modification to the wiring so I'm in the process of fitting new ring terminals to these uh, to enable us to uh, uh, get the wiring to the right length.